The American Railroad Series, Season 1, Episode 3, Sad to Darrell. Once upon a time, a diesel engine on June 14, 1972. A story of the locomotive, afraid of a few showers of rain in Dade County, pulling the coaches to Dade County from Hillsborough County. This story comes in the wake of declining passenger ridership from the railroad company and a very poor track record in the eastern United States. This locomotive was worried about getting wet. The railroad is at risk too in Miami when there is some attempt at sabotage on the railroad, leading to a train wreck or even worse. Some said the old Miami station was in very old and poor condition at the time, in the 1970s. Summer is near, and Dade County prepares for a cyclone season. This locomotive enters through the tunnel and stops at the end. He thinks this will let the rain stop until dark, and once it stops, the locomotive stops the train. This railroad crew came out and explained why. The locomotive was his name, Darrell. Darrell was a Seaboard Coast Line Railroad EMD E8 locomotive number 3051, originally built by Seaboard Air Line Railroad in 1950. All 10 were given a re-number from 588 to 598 and repainted black with yellow strips, except for Darrell, who kept his old number but is still in service, and the other E8, which was wrecked a year ago. Darrell can't stay out, so he could end up ruining his white paint with red strips as a symbol of passenger service, not freight. The railroad conductor blew his whistle until he stopped and opened the flag to go, but Darrell refused. Ah, the railroad conductor said. Then, along came the railroad controller named Theodore, a male bottlenose dolphin here in Miami, who came to see Darrell to see something wrong. He has been working since the 1950s in Miami. We will pull you out of the tunnel, Theodore said to Darrell. Darrell is upsetting Theodore, he roamed the load engine at him. Passengers and crew members are ready to pull, here we go. Pull, said Theodore. Theodore can't pull the front train because he does so. I do so because I shall not allow me to pull. Theodore said. Passengers and crew members are ready to pull, here we go. Three, two, one, push, said Theodore. Theodore can't push the back train because he does so. I do so because I shall not allow me to push, Theodore said. Here is the next plan, Theodore shall add an EMD F7A locomotive to pull the train back and coupled it to ready. Then the locomotive pushes the train, as seen in this play. Here we go. The locomotive still never pushes the train, but it pushes. Okay, this locomotive had to leave right away. Ah, uh, Theodore said. Darrell is still in the tunnel, and this last was a failure. Theodore has to give up on Darrell, and he has to stay for now. We shall take your railroad away, leaving you here for always and always and always, for the rest of your life, Theodore said. Workers began to remove the tracks and build the wall on the tunnel, so he could never come back to work. Theodore left, leaving Darrell for the rest of his life. Well, Darrell will be so sad all alone in Dade County when he is too excited to enjoy summer. He can believe to be sad all day and night and to see others happy in the county. Here comes Ed, the EMD GP7 locomotive, with a local homestead freight train home. Hello, said Ed.
And here comes another train, the EMD E4 locomotive, on the Silver Star Express train to New York City. Ha, huh, it serves you right, boy, ha 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 ha, Dan said and laughed. No engine will run, leaving his red stripes and white paint dirty and abandoned. Once Daryl can return to hope, he hopes to want justice. But how long will Daryl stay in the tunnel, and what comes next when the fierce storm happens again? I should think Daryl deserved his punishment, don't you? Well, it's another story. And this is the end of the story. Have a good night, everyone.